Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I am going to do your July the 10th, just for today, in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. A positive attitude. That old nest of negativism followed me everywhere I went. That comes from the basic text, page 137. A negative attitude is the trademark of active addiction. Everything that occurred in our lives was someone or something else's fault. We had blaming others for our shortcomings down to a fine science. In recovery, one of the first things we strive to develop is a new attitude. We find that life goes a lot easier when we replace our negative thinking with positive principles. While a negative attitude dogged us in our active addiction, all too often it can follow us into the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous. How can we begin to adjust our attitudes by altering our actions? It isn't easy, but it can be done. We can start by listening to the way we talk. Before we open our mouths, we ask ourselves some simple questions. Does what I'm going to say speak to the problem or the solution? Is what I'm going to say framed? in a kind manner? Is what I have to say important? Or would everyone be just as well off if I kept my mouth shut? Am I talking just to hear myself talk? Or is there some purpose to my words of wisdom? Our attitudes are expressed in our actions. Often, it's not what we say, but the way we say it that really matters. As we learn to speak in a more positive manner, we will notice our attitudes improving as well. Just for today, I want to be free of negativity. Today, I will speak and act positively. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. What a powerful meditation, a positive attitude. And I really like the questions that is asking us because being negative probably was such a natural instinct. We had a lot to be negative about and very little to be positive about. And so as we develop this pessimistic disposition, and now we're clean. Oh, you mean to tell me that I can change the way that I think and the way that I think can change the way that I speak and act and the way that I speak and act can change the way I have relationships with other people. It can change the dynamics of my social skills. Are you serious that people are more drawn to positive people? And I can be one of those? Yes. Today, let's start something different. Because if you're listening to the podcast, then that also means that you probably can relate to this meditation. That also means that you probably have moments when you are itching to just scratch that disposition of pessimism. It's hard sometimes to bite your tongue. 
it's hard to ask ourselves these questions here. Sometimes it's very difficult to ask those questions before we open our mouths, before we get our hands and our mouth into a situation that maybe we can get out of clean, but we can't get out of adding that situation to our attempt step where we need to make prompt amends. So before we cause the problem, why not take the time to make sure of ourselves before we start speaking? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It shows maturity. It shows growth. And so then that's what we want to do is look at the thoughts that we're thinking about speaking and run through these questions here. Does it speak to the problem or the solution? Because if you're just speaking to the problem and not the solution, before you can get 10, 15 seconds into whatever your spill is, most people are blocking you out. Most people have already analyzed in their own mind and judged what you're about to say and responded before you can even get 15 to 13, 30 seconds into your spill. They've already made a decision to stay with you or to leave you. And so if you're speaking to the solution, there needs to be a lift in your voice that says, I have something to say that incorporates the problem, but maybe if we all put our heads together, we can work on this particular solution that I think will work. Just in that short frame of time that it took me to say that, many of you were like, oh, is that what I should have said? Okay. So I was just speaking to the problem, but not the solution. Absolutely. Our, the words that are about to come out of your mouth framed in a kind manner. Or is this something, a point that you need to make? You're going to make a point. And you know that you are not okay with whatever this situation is. And you're angry, you're frustrated. And it shows in your voice. You're very hot, very heated in what you're saying. Maybe you still need some time to cool down. Does it have to be shared right at this very moment? Is it important? Or am I going to just make matters worse? Cause other people to spend the next four hours after I say what I am going to say, gossiping about the problem and not the solution. What a waste of time and energy. What a waste of time and energy. And it can just be resolved by our making the decision to make sure that the energy we bring to the table is positive, that is supported by a positive attitude and a spirit of goodwill. Today, I want for you to be free of negativity. And I know it's not going to be easy. Things happen. And it's easier to feed into that. But let's be more conscientious today and make a decision that when negativity comes, we will ask ourselves these questions before we respond. And instead of feeding into the negativity, that we will speak and act positively. Why is that important, speaking and acting positively? Because you can speak positively and then turn around and act a different way. And it's your actions that really show where you're at with a situation. It's your actions that people are looking at. They can hear the words coming from our mouths, but how are we acting? So we want for these two things, our words and our actions right here, we want them to be positive and to at least measure up. 
My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you soon.